Welcome to our 57th Designs by Jude sewing tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of constructing the cozy trend coat pattern for the 22 inch American model doll. Each time I put out a video I learn a little bit something new about color or angle or technique and granted there's a lot more to learn but if there's certain sewing angles or views that are beneficial to you something that I could capitalize on to make these tutorials even more valuable please leave those in the comment section below because my goal is to make videos that are super easy to follow easy to see easy to understand and something that will make your sewing journey a little bit more enjoyable so I invite you to come along with me today and see how we end up with that beautiful cozy trend coat all right, so today we're going to be sewing the Cozy Trend Coat. I have this pattern available for several different fashion dolls, and today we're going to be constructing it for the 22-inch American Model doll. The pattern cover I have here shows you the style of the coat, which actually comes in two separate lengths. One is actually a car length at the hip. The other is just above the knee and looks super great with boots. So in order to get started, we're going to go over to the sewing machine and start with step one, which is going to be to sew the coat uh, front section sections to the coat side front section. So let's take it over there. Um, please note that today I'm trying to do some different camera angles. If some of these angles are preferable to you, please let me know um, as I'm just getting used to experimenting with a couple of different camera stands and I want to make sure you can see the construction as easily as possible. So we're going to go ahead and get started with step one, which is going to be to sew the side front section to the front section of the coat. Now before I took the pattern pieces off, I went ahead and took some small clips into all the curved edges just to make the um, assembly a little bit easier, and I would recommend you do the same. And as I've said in previous videos, if you feel comfortable using a lot of pins, I suggest that you do that. Um, I'm used to sewing without them, so I'm only going to use just a, a few, but I would recommend that you use as many as you feel is necessary. So let me know how you like this new camera angle and if it gives you an opportunity to see what my actual stitching looks like. I know it's a little tricky sometimes when you're watching a video to see the construction. All right, so we have that first side done and we're gonna go ahead and repeat that on the second side. All right, so the side front sections are attached and the second uh, step is gonna be to go ahead and take the back section and the back side sections and sew them together as well. So here's that back piece and here's the side back and we're just gonna sew those in place just like we did with the front. Okay, now that we have the back sewn together, what we're gonna do is take it over to the ironing board and press the seams open on the front and back of the jacket, and then we'll bring it back over here and sew the shoulder seams together. Now we're just gonna sew the front of the jacket to the back at the shoulder seams. Thank you. 
We'll take that over to the ironing board, press that seam open, and also turn up the cuff edge of the sleeve and press that as well. Next, we're just going to run a basting stitch across uh, the top of the sleeve cap. There's some dots indicated on the top of the pattern, but you're just going to make a small area of basting stitches in order to ease the sleeve into the actual jacket armhole opening. All right, so what we're gonna do is just gently pull that basting stitch to create a rounded um, corner. Now we're not trying to create any gathers or any puckers, we're just trying to get that shape. That's gonna make it a little bit easier to set it into the armhole opening. All right, after you get it sewn in, you just wanna check, make sure everything looks good on both sides of the garment. So again, like I said, we're not trying to create any gathers. We're just trying to create a nice rounded edge and I think we did a pretty good job. Sometimes you can find your base stitch on the outside of the uh, jacket and just give it a pull and there you go. <laughs> so that's gone for now. So that's perfect. We're gonna do it on the second side as well. And again, we're looking just to make sure everything looks good. And I think it does. Perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to sew the front to the back at the side seam. Make sure that you match the underarm seam when you do this and also that you match the folds at each side of the cuff. All right, now that we have both of the side seams sewn, what we're gonna do is just clip into that seam allowance, take it over to the ironing board and press those seams open, and then we're gonna prepare the actual collar of the coat. After you have it ironed, you're just gonna turn the coat right side out. Let's see how it's looking so far. And then we're gonna start the preparation of that collar. What we're gonna do is pin it right sides together and then we're gonna sew around the outside of the collar.
when you look at the pattern piece, you're going to sew from here around all the way around the outside to there. As you can see, the indicating on the collar to stop here. So let's take it over to the sewing machine and get that done. All right, so we have our collar piece placed right sides together, and I've marked with the pins to indicate where I want to start and stop that seam. So let's go ahead and sew around the outside. All right, I'm gonna clip in towards this seam allowance. I'm gonna take it over to the ironing board and turn it right side out and give it a good press. And then we're gonna get it attached to the jacket neck opening. All right, now that we have the collar completely turned and sewn, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and pin it to the actual coat. All right, now that we have the collar pinned to the jacket, I just want you to pay attention to one thing that will really help you, is if you notice that there's an equal distance of jacket past that edge of the collar on each side. So it looks like to be just a little bit more than uh, half an inch, more like a three quarters of an inch. So go ahead and sew that in place and then we'll get the lining attached to the coat. Once you take the pins out, you want to check on both sides of that garment to make sure that you haven't created any unnecessary tucks or puckers. So we want to follow all the way around from the front to the back. And I think it looks pretty good. So from there, we're going to go ahead and get the lining. Now I already created the lining off camera. And it's here. So we're going to go ahead and put these right sides together, carefully tucking the um, collar of the coat inside and sew around the full outside, up both front openings, around the neck, and along the hem edge. And we're going to leave an opening in the center back of the hem edge for turning the garment right side out. All right, we made it all the way around the garment so we can just visually check real quick both sides to see if we see anything unusual. And I'm thinking we might have to clip a couple of this uh, seam allowances back open. I'm, I hit a few. Now we're just gonna go ahead and clip into that seam allowance, turn the jacket right side out and give it a final press.
All right, let's go ahead and push the line into the inside of the jacket and then get a fit to the doll and make sure that we're <laughs> moving in the right direction. And then we'll, all right, the jacket's coming together great. So far, so good. We're moving right along. What we're gonna do now is just get one of our American model dolls to try the fit so far, and then proceed to doing some hand finishing of that uh, hem opening, as well as the lining of the cuff uh, to the actual sleeve cuff. And then we're gonna get some placement for some snaps and some buttons. All right, so this is how our coat is coming together so far, and I think we're doing a great job. What we're going to do now is we're going to slip it onto the American Model doll, and she is wearing a turtleneck long sleeve, so you do want the coat to fit over um, other garments, so it should be loose enough that you can get it on her. All right, so this is where our coat's looking so far, and I'm really, really liking it. I think for the pattern, I'll make the cuffs just a little bit longer so that when I turn them up, um, I like it to be right to the uh, edge of her wrist. So other than that, I think it's looking pretty great. If we check the back fit, I think uh, maybe she needs just a hair more room between uh, her torso here, which I'll add to the pattern before I put it out. Now, the thing I like about this collar is it can be worn like a very large lapel, or you can actually pull it under on one side and over on the other, and it creates just a really interesting um, cowl neck, which uh, is why, what, what attracted me to the design in the first place. So now that we have it tried onto the doll, and I think we can get away with this fit for now, I'm going to go ahead and mark some placement for the snaps, and then add some large brown buttons, I think, uh, just to complete the look, make a quick belt, and then we'll get some final photographs to see how it actually turned out. Okay, well we've made it to the end of our sewing tutorial for the Cozy Trend Coat for the 22 inch American model. I hope this information was helpful to you and I, as always I'm so thankful that you came along with me today. If you like this type of content, please hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and share the content with your friends. I'm thinking that it would be helpful to put out some video instruction on how to sell the garments that you can make from some of our patterns. We offer over 950 different designs and you're welcome to use any of them for your own sewing projects and also to start your own small sewing business. If this type of content might be interesting to you, please list that in the comment section below and I'll get some notes together and share some of my best tips on how to make the most money from your own home sewing machine. Thanks so much for being with me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.